welcome to this um, video in this video um, I will try to demonstrate some concepts in Node.js and this is Said from Toronto, Ontario, Canada okay. uh, welcome to this tutorial uh, in this tutorial, we will actually demonstrate uh, some of this. Okay. Yeah, sites.com, that's my blog. Now, Node.js concepts. Let's see. I can try to find some interview questions. And from there, I can uh, uh, explain or inform. I might not know every single answer, but I will try to see. Yeah, probably some, uh, some. It can uh, give you some ideas on, on different aspects of uh, Node.js. So consider the following JavaScript code. Let's see if I can. Okay, yeah. Following JavaScript code. Okay. So what other alternative options there is there for this code? You can say set time out console.log zero. What it is telling is set time out after zero seconds. If you would be putting ten second then it will be after ten second uh, it will be calling this uh, this function. So looks like depending on on this delay, this third can get printed out uh, before this second. I think the flow will go there, and it will be waiting this amount of second. Okay. So what other options? I think Node.js uh, in the latter versions there is a function called set immediate. So that can be used. And another note is uh, set immediate because Node.js is an I/O based operation. So depending on which queue it puts, I/O processing or the all the function function queue or whatever, I think Node.js set immediate might have an advantage in terms of how fast or slow. What is callback hell and how can it be avoided? callback hell let's say um, if there is nested callback callback you know you send an asynchronous call or even synchronous call to some some method some function and when it comes back to the corresponding method the callback method that's how we call callback method so if we are doing one callback inside another inside another just that's a callback hell it will be very complicated I think uh, it's difficult for you to understand and it's easy to make mistakes in, in in there and actually in parallel program I also use this sort of a synchronization and sending the data or the process to uh, logic to different uh, computers and collecting those I think those uh, those coming back and executing some other stuff yeah parallel programming map produce or the asynchronous node.js all those things uh, use this uh, callback concept yeah another yeah and it's bad difficult to understand and difficult to extend and easy um, I think you, you can do mistakes many errors can come from there it, it might be very difficult to uh, test as well so what you can do you can actually uh, separate this out I think what I can say let's see first block callback it comes to second block callback it comes to third block callback and it comes to fourth block callback what you can do take the code the main functionality in the fourth block plot put it in, in a, some sort of method or module probably in node.js what you can do var xyz equals to function and put that thing there so that is one and probably in the if you go to the fourth level, the third level functionality, you can try to put some sort of logic or in a different module or method, method 
where I think the fourth block that you took into the another module you can put that module or that method as a callback for this third uh, third third level so the code is being separated so in that way this third part I think you can separate it out and from the second second part and that just separate the logic and then uh, try to utilize this as part of uh, callback thing callback uh, there are some uh, some simpler statements rather than nesting callback there are some simple uh, uh, statements where it can go to the corresponding method or call the corresponding module or corresponding method uh, that way it can help how does node.js handle child threads node.js child threads let's see it's not thread based it's an uh, it's a single threaded operation However, it has concepts like spawn, uh, fork, or those kind of, I think, and those things. And another thing is it's an event-based. So the single thread, it will go to the main flow. And there can have some asynchronous call to other, uh, other block of code or other functionalities. That's how they will seem to be running parallelly. But it's the same uh, single, uh, single thread. So there is no multiple, multiple thread here. But if you want to use multiple thread, then what you can do? I think there are some uh, some other modules that can provide you this uh, threading in Node.js. What can happen? Probably Node.js will interface with that particular module that will be providing multi-threading. And that module will create multiple threads and run all those things parallelly. Parallelly or multiple threads. But when they come back, they will come to this module and they will interact with the Node.js, but Node.js will see them as a single, single thread. Okay, let's see, it's cluster or it can be a cluster. Yeah, there are, uh, yeah, I think one thing is uh, to give multiple thread, it probably cluster. What else is there? I think uh, there is one related concept. One thing is it can spawn, uh, uh, let's see, if you deploy Node.js, if it is single threaded, it will not be able to take advantage of the multi threading, multi thread or multiple processor systems. So, multiple processor system, it will not be able to take advantage of that unless the operating system has something to um, deal with or the operating, operating system has some sort of. I think that C sharp or those things uh, they they have some sort of uh, libraries to to utilize multiple processors, not just a single threaded. Uh, but there are some other modules that can help you for this uh, multiple multiple uh, process uh, thing. What is the preferred method of resolving unhandled exceptions in Node.js? Resolving unhandled exceptions in Node.js. I think in terms of what is preferred, but there is one thing there is called process dot on uncode exception, and then you can you write the callback. Preferred method of resolving unhandled exceptions. Okay, and exceptions. I think in the callback function you can. You can implement the uh, errors. I think the first object parameter is the error object, and you can do error checking there and then do the processing. But another concept is the uh, our system level, uh, system level uh, exception handling that you can do. Multiprocessor system, and yeah, there you can you have to take advantage of some sort of a other a module. Callback handler first block, first block usually is the error object, and all other parameters are usually dot object. So, 
so the code block to run it in google chrome considerably more than the time required to run it in node.js explain why this is so okay in google chrome it takes more time but in uh, node.js it takes less time it probably has something to do with the uh, scope probably in node.js it, it, it is it runs within some container and in google chrome it probably runs to the entire window or document spaces so that probably all those variable things they might get some extra loading extra get some extra load allocating deallocated memories and all those things or overwriting i think dealing with the other parts of the applications there might have some uh, overhead because it's a global space so google chrome might have to do some additional stuff so that uh, uh, things are not garbaged anyway uh, okay okay come back to the thing okay console.log first set timeout first third second okay how the output will be like this how else might we write this code yeah i think i can see what they are telling set timeout i uh, saw so set immediate yeah this is the one and then probably the so it sends it to the queue of IO event handlers it it place it there instead of the function queue so it, it is supposed to be faster okay, read, read it in details because it's doctor.com callback hell okay heavily nested callbacks okay they are doing some sort of query and query and then query okay the nested callback and this i think in this case this can be kept out and uh, put in a i think this block can put in a module and transactions each and query it can be another module but it will call that module and this probably query query or only query can be in another module where it will be using calling this as a separate calling that module in some way okay log error you can see it here then the update transaction transactions each i believe that okay so it is separating this query in another module and transaction in another module and handle call in another module okay one thing is i was telling to call one from another and let's see how hot it is calling here so it is calling handle client handle client handle client is calling handle transactions yeah so you, you got the idea probably read the explanation okay yeah promise that is one another thing in node.js child threads okay okay it is single threaded that i told it does not respond child thread okay so child process module yeah i was wondering about the module name child process method for read okay okay it is handling in the process level okay i think for unhandled exceptions 
it can be a preferred method but in general it is not a preferred method that you will always be using this process on no multiprocessor it probably is the cluster module is one of the core not just module okay yeah you can read the explanation here callback handler as I told error object you need to do the processing and those things considerably higher okay so I is becoming global it binds to the window object repeatedly revolving resolving the property I within the heavily populated window namespace in iteration of the for loop okay so in node.js the uh, scope will be somewhat smaller anyway I think in a, another video I might answer some more concerns or more concepts in node.js for now this is all anyway bye bye so youtube.justetc.com you can check node.js videos I believe there will be some but you can check other topics node.js node.js yeah there are some videos I kept the images off so you don't see the images you can try to uh, check other videos as well and sitestree.com you probably note chess I, I might not have placed some placed much you might get some angular database php java and many other stuff anyway sitestree.com some basic concepts in some other related websites anyway thank you bye bye